Hey guys, the Potron here, and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. What you see on the screen is one of my patrons' drawings and the reference. And this artist was wondering why the portrait doesn't quite look like Emma Watson. Well, first of all, Emma Watson is one of those those uh, celebrities that is extremely difficult to draw because she has no like outstanding features. So this was uh, a super difficult task to begin with. So I'm gonna start pointing out some of the things that I see, and um, you know, um, and how I would modify the drawing. At that point, I would speed up the video, and hopefully, we'll end up with something that's a little bit closer. Uh, the goal is really to make the drawing look exactly like the reference, but the resemblance should come across. And I think this is a pretty good job already, but I can see a few, just a few errors would, you know, make a big difference when you join somebody. So the first thing I notice is this eye here. Oh, let me change the opacity to 100%. Okay, yeah, so this eye here obviously should be a little bit lower. And this lens here, you see how wider I purposely made two portraits a bit similar in size. This one is slightly larger, but this is quite a bit wider. You see this you see this little tiny highlight here? This is kinda of important. It's stuff like this that makes like portrait uh, pretty difficult. There's a little high little bit of highlight there. That little bit of highlight tells you that her nose bridge is about this wide. And in her drawing, in my patron's drawing, I don't know if it's he or she, I apologize. That highlight made her nose bridge wider. And that definitely changes how somebody looks. And of course, another one is important one is the shape of eye, which is a very standard, you know, like a, um, a I don't even know if there's a name for this kind of shape. And her, sh the shape of her eye is more of a, that. I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating obviously so the shape of the eyes uh, some of the proportions the, the placement of the right eye and this side is obviously a little bit darker too uh, the nose is the overall shape is pretty good the size may be adjusted according to the other features um, lips is pretty good she has this has a little bit of higher curl, but that could work too, depends on how you draw the rest of the face. And in terms of proportions, if you look at, let's say, distance from here to the eyebrow, and then if you look at the distance from this is deceptive very deceptive these two are actually extremely similar but these two this one is actually quite a bit longer like I can if I see if I can grab this arrow over here and uh, show you the difference like the this the difference is actually not nearly as much as uh, even though it doesn't seem like a big deal, but we enjoying a person like <laughs> everything's like a big deal. Maybe a few other things that I'll notice as I'm going through with the changes, but these are the few things that I'm going to adjust, and that's just regarding proportions. When we're talking about tone values, um, I'm gonna make more adjustments based on that too. But any difference in tone value is. You know, it's pretty obvious because you can just see it right there on the screen. Okay, so the time lapse time and uh, wish me luck.
Thanks for watching and I'm testing and hope I can do this more. If you are a patron and would like me to tweak or demonstrate something, just let me know. Uh, for this particular video, the important thing to take away is how well important proportion is for portraiture. The error tolerance is very different for very different faces and it is generally very low. But this also trains your eyes for art in a variety of fields, so you're not boxing into anything. I'll also try to make videos more often, so if there are any particular topics you want to explore, just let me know. Until next time, cheers!